Alright, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called Shockwaves. Uh, this is a Nazi zombie flick. I'm not sure if this is the only flick in a genre called Nazi zombie. But um, anyway, this one's uh, from 1977. It's in color and it's got. Uh, John Carradine um, plays a boat captain, and um, Peter Cushing. Peter Cushing plays the SS commander, and then there is a uh, Brooke Adams. Uh, she looks like uh, Jessica Harper. She she wears uh, a rather uh, comely looking. Uh, yellow bikini during the first half of the movie which is cool um, I won't say she's bad looking but uh, she, she kind of reminds me of uh, Jessica Harper for some reason maybe it's her face um, and her eyebrows too and then um, so those are the actors in this one um, the other actors I really don't know their names um, this one reminded me of Alien Dead. The, um, so it makes me wonder if Alien Dead ripped off uh, Shockwaves um, with Fred Olin Ray uh, zombie flick from 1980 starring Buster Crab. Um, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot like. Uh, Alien Dead three years later. So um, basically, the story revolves around a super superhuman race of Nazis. Uh, they're kind of like zombies, but they live underwater. And um, I guess after the war ended, they they got uh, washed up in the Florida swamps. They've been living there ever since. Um, so uh, it's a bunch of indestructible white-haired dudes um, living in the swamp. I guess their ghost ship crashes into uh, John Carradine's ship, where the passengers are um, are all staying on like a vacation or something. But it's a grimy-looking boat. I don't know why anybody would uh, want to go on that boat with John Carradine um, and a drunk cook. Um, so there's a used car salesman dude who complains a lot. Uh, Brooke Adams is just kind of sunbathing in her uh, itty bitty bikini, and um, and then this ghost ship hits uh, John Carradine's ship, and they have to abandon and go go ashore to this island where the Nazis are staying. Um, then the Nazi zombies start knocking them off one by one. Um, for some reason, they let um, Brooke Adams float away in like a little uh, uh, emergency boat, and um, and the beginning starts where the ending should be, or at least. Um, Part of the ending. Part of the ending is in the beginning, and part of the ending is in the ending. So it's kind of weird. Um, yeah, I like this flick. I gave it uh, five stars. Peter Cushing, John Carradine, horror flick. I can't go wrong with that. There's no gore in this. It's just all a bunch of dead bodies floating in the water. So uh, this, could, this could be rated PG. I mean. Uh, there's there's not much violence in this. Uh, it's, it's a lot of it is off camera. I mean to say, um, uh, it didn't really scare me that much. The uh, the Nazi zombies were kind of silly, and the whole concept was silly. But that was part of the fun. I mean, uh, that's why it's one of those uh, so bad that it's good movies, just like Alien Dead. Um, of course, OCP Communications hates Alien Dead. So he probably hates this one too, but um, 
don't, I don't know why I have this on my uh, Netflix queue. Maybe... I don't know. Uh, I'm guessing because it's similar to uh, Fred Olin Ray. And um, maybe I saw a, a Fred Olin Ray review, and uh, somebody mentioned this one. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's been on my queue for a few years, and uh, I'm getting re ready to watch See Jane Run. I know how that one got on my Netflix queue, and I'll tell you later. Okay, so have a good afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Later.